guys, it's Pure Gamer. Today we're back on the next episode of Rags to Riches, and as you can see, we're just constantly unlocking things every time we load on to GTA Online. So what we're going to do today is we are going to go to the casino. I'm going to show you the most important thing you should do every day. Even if you have millions, you should still do it. Because one, you could win free cash. Two, you could earn loads of RP that gets you ranked up, that gets you unlocks more weapons, car, customization, more stuff. Or... It'll get you some chips that you can trade in as cash. Or it'll get you a new car. That's pretty cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the casino where we'll spin the wheel. And then we're going to do the treasure hunt for Solomon. We're going to get as many of them as we can done. And we're going to earn that 100 grand. Now we've already done one, so we'll only earn 90 grand. But that's 90 grand more that you guys are able to make after watching this video. Plus whatever you get from the casino. And then maybe in the next video we might do some damn casino, but I have got another idea for the next video that we'll probably do first. I know there's quite a lot of ideas popping up into my head when I do one video. Another idea pops in, and I'm like, oh, I'll do that, and then I'll do this. So I have to write them down on my phone notes. So what we'll do is we'll join back when we're at the casino, giving us more time in the video for the actual Solomon hunt. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, so here we go. So... What we're going to do is we're going to spin the wheel and then going to show you how to get $1,000 from chips if you own the casino or you're lucky enough to get a prize of chips. So I'll show you that in a second. We'll just do one thing at a time then. Don't want to confuse you too much, but here we go. So what we're after is money or chips. Money or chips. Money or chips. RP's okay. Anything else we don't really want. Car, we can't sell or anything. Come on. And we're going to get RP. But... You know, it is a free thing. We've got 5,000 RP, so it has leveled us up a bit. It is a shame. You could do a glitchy thingy, but think you could get $30,000 or 15,000 chips, and then you could go over here and cash in your chips for cash. Now, because I own the VIP section, I get a visitor's bonus of 1,000 chips that then I can just trade in like this. Happy days. There you go, I've traded in a thousand chips and I've just got a thousand dollars extra. Can't really ask for more of it. Now what I would say is never gamble in this place if you're trying to make money because it's just, it, the odds aren't good at all. Because obviously it would be odds up to Rockstar rather than you winning all the time. You might win once in a blue moon and when you do you win big and think, oh I'll do it again. Don't bother. Just don't. Maybe play it once in a while if you have money. To waste, but it's not really a thing that you need to be spending your time on to make money. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do the Solomon stuff now. So, I'm going to re get my car back and we will be back in a second. Okay, so the first place is actually outside Solomon's um, building. I was trying to think what it was then, but it's called we'll a building. Now, Solomon's, I believe. It's the it's around there. Basically, when I drive to this area, I'll know it when I see it. I'll know where I'm going. I just can't put pinpoint the exact location. What I'll do is I'll get it up on the map in a second when we get to that location. Parking lot, and then we'll drive. I believe his first one should be there. You go. You can see it glowing. So what I'll do is I'll walk up to it and then I'll get it up on the map for you, so you can see exactly where it is. There you go, so all I need to do is walk into Solomon's, but I'll bring it up on the map exactly where it is. This is the fire range, zoomed in. So what you know is it's by this place here, and if you go all the way across, it actually meets with the pier. So it meets with the pier, follow this long road down here, and then when you get to where it flicks off like that, just go down, across, and there. But you'll see the build, and once you get into this area, you will see the build, and you'll recognise it as the movie studio. And you'll automatically know where to come. Just come straight to the office. It's next to the office doors. In that little corner by that bin that you can see. Walk up the steps with it once it tells you to. And there you go. That's ten grand in the bank. So we've found two of them. So now we need to find that third one. So off we go. Okay guys. So the next one is in the strip club. Now... You have to go behind the stages, so someone's obviously done this before because they've killed the guard for a reason. Now, hopefully this allows us to get backstage. I don't know whether it will or not, but because he's dead, 
And obviously I can't hear the music anyway. Will it let us, will it not? No, right, so we need to go back out and hope that the bodyguard spawned. So we shoot him. Otherwise, we, otherwise we get a pirate dance and we just ignore that dancer and just literally walk behind the stage and get what we need. Please be... I need a bodyguard, right, okay. So I'll do. So I'll drive around the block. Back in a second, because I need to show you exactly how we do it. In fact, I've just had a brilliant idea. Just do that. That'll work. There you go. We've got my weight. Or you can get a private dancer, but obviously, this way, you are saving money. So, what you want to do is you want to make your way through the building, into the office. And as you'll see here, there is a movie prop. Boom. There we go. So, what I'll do is I'll quickly, actually, before I forget, everyone knows where this place is, though. It's marked on the map, but I will mark exactly where this place is. So, in the building, it's here. Walk through the whole building. It is there, what we want. And this is the zoomed-in place. There. We'll zoom out. And it's there. So, basically, you go to Simeon's, drive through, go across... And there you go. Everyone knows where it is. It's a little strip, strip club icon, aka a little shoe. And you'll just go to that location for the prop. So, we're going to move on to the next prop item. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go and give the money... Go and give the prop to get our money. Okay, we're at Solomon's, so what we're going to do is we're going to walk upstairs, we're going to get an extra 10 grand now, once we enter the building. There you go, extra 10 grand, 3 out of 10. Right, so now we need to move on to the next one. Okay, so the next one is in the nightclub. Now, I will speed it up a bit, but not too much, so you can still see it. Right, so we need to go into the casino, and it's going to be in one of the toilets, so it's, it's the back of the nightclub, so it is a pain to get to, so we'll speed it up. Purely because you can't run in the nightclub or do a fast walk. You've just got to do the slow pace. So I'll speed it up for you. And here we go. Here it is. It's just on the sort of side stand of the toilet. Now I'll get it up on the marker. It's this toilet. I went into the first one. To the first one that I saw next to the Agatha, whatever her name is. The guy, who, the woman who runs the place manager. But literally it's just this one here. So you come through here. There you go. That's her. So I just did that. So what I'll do is I'll walk outside just so you can see what's around. And then we'll go back to... Solomon's. Okay, so it's literally just the poker and the blackjack tables here, and obviously it says restrooms there. And you've got the high limit area next to it. Right, okay, into Solomon's we go for another 10k. Easy. 30 grand. That should be four objectives done because we did one in the last video, three in this video. taking a bit longer. There we go. There you go. 31 grand over stats because we had some extra cash on us anyway. Right. Okay, I think it's time to borrow a car, you know. I'm assuming... Oh, what the hell happened there? Because I've not done the solo public glitch. I'm assuming my Wi-Fi is about to drop. And I bet you Simeon wants this car because he texted me before. No, nope, no, he doesn't. Oh, that's okay. Weird. Okay. So we're back in a second at the next location. <laughs> Okay, so the next one is at the Fort San Kudo base. Now, I've not done this yet. Besides, I did it on my last account. I obviously had the hangar in here, so I was able to just drive in. Now, I don't have a hangar in here, so I don't know if it's going to let me in or not. Sir, leave the area. Nope. 
Right, okay, so I've immediately got a force I wanted on me. I know there's tanks driving around in here. Everyone's going to be shooting. And the area that I need to go into is a heavily guarded place. So what we might do is get a hydro out of here. Not hydro, a uh, laser out of here because, well, we may as well make the use of coming in here. There you go. There's a tank. Yeah, and the tank just blow me up. Okay, so I'm probably going to need to turn cops, turn a blind eye on me. Because I didn't know whether I was going to get a text off what what's his name now i don't even know who we're working for anymore say so, no it's okay don't worry i've contacted them you can go in there and get what i need because he's a well contacted man obviously but nope i guess we're just gonna have to we could do turn a blind eye but i'm so sorry i'm thinking we get this car we jump over that we go down there keep away from any tanks that i can see and we give it another attempt so we'll be back any second Okay, we're getting ready for launch. Here we go. The moment of truth. Have I got enough speed? Only just. Only just. And now, obviously, tanks are not being blown up. Yeah, we'll be back in a second. Leave the area now. Okay, we're going to try this one more time because it's going to cost me five grand okay, to get cops to turn a blind eye. And all I need to do is get into this building here right now. Go, 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 go. Okay, I'm in passive, so that isn't going to help. Now, I always thought it was there. Ah, there it is. I was like, where the hell is it? Now, obviously, you know where this place is. I'm about to be shot and killed. I believe we still have it on us, though. That's the most important thing. Yeah, we still have it on us. So, we'll be back when we get to Solomon's. Okay, we're back at Solomon's for our extra 10k. That should take us to 41 grand. I know, just 40 grand. Oh, that's a bit weird. Right. Let's go to the next location. Okay, so this next location, as you can see already, it's glowing for us, is a statue of a mummy head, maybe? The location to this is the little building here, just before this axle sort of turn here. It's literally, if you go to Sandy Shores, go sh Draw it across from the airport. It's a little house on its own. Here, like that. I'll zoom out one more and zoom in. It's here. It's there. On the porch. Right there. So, we're going to go back to Solomon's and get our 10 grand. Easy money, this. Easy, easy money. Obviously, if you have a Oppressor Mark II or a helicopter, jet, or whatever, it does make life a lot easier and quicker. Meaning you're making quicker cash. Okay, and here we go. We should now get 50 grand all, all together. There we go. 10 grand each time you do it. 6 out of 10. Here we go. Next one. Here we come. Okay, so the next one you can already see. And people might know where this location is. It's literally just around the corner from the airfield. Now I'll put a marker up. Here it is zoom out so it's literally across from there and across from that airfield is literally there we go there it's probably about there but we'll let, get the map up again once we're standing over the object i believe it's the alien head there we go alien head and there you go it's exactly there i'll zoom out for you there we go right and again it is a bit repetitive but thank god to a helicopter Makes it quicker. Back to Solomon's. And into Solomon's office for an extra 10 grand. There we go. Now we have 60 grand all together. Easy cash this. Easy cash. Right. Now you have to remember you get 10 grand for each one. And I already did one in the last video. Meaning I got the 10 grand then. And cashed it. Okay. We're just being ranked up. We are going to be ranked 40 very soon. And before you know, it'll be rank 50 and having the private jet hit the hangar that makes our life so easy getting around the map even quicker. Okay, so our next location is the Alp... I don't even know what camp it is, but it's the one where they eat people on what it's called now. But basically, it is just about there. You'll see it right below now. It's that thing flashing away now. We'll park this vehicle here because they're going to immediately start shooting me. Cannibals, that's what they are. Get up, get up, get it. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. 
I knew I was going to die the minute I jumped up. Right, okay, so ignore the naked people. Right, okay. That is what we're after. There we go. Now, I'm noticing there's a blue blip over there, and I believe that's one of the actual things that we need. So, we'll keep an eye on that. But this is exactly where the location is. And obviously, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Solomon's and hope that that blue blip stays there. Okay, so what I've decided to do is just come straight to the blue blip and collect two things at once. Obviously, one at the... Uh, place we were just at then and this one here which is right there are we ready three two one just drop hit the floor don't bother attacking i believe the mummy will be in the back of this yep and that is the mummy just quickly shoot these security guards get them out of the way obviously we're gonna have the cops on us because we shot in a well, I think it's a high profile area, profile area isn't it? Because it has the security. It's the Maze Bank something, isn't it? It's university, I think that said. But it's the... I don't know what that is. But it's it's where the big shoot down on single player goes. And it has its own security doors and gates and that. Okay, so for some reason I've got a county sheriff. Instead of having the... Los Santos PD on me. It's very weird. So, as I keep saying in this video, and all of, you probably do a count of how many I've said in this video, we will be back any second when we get to Solomon's. Okay guys, so a few hours after I was last on, I was just driving around and I found the last vehicle, I believe. Let's uh, pop the lights in there, there we go. Right, okay, we're right near a gang area, so we need to get out quickly. Not that it really matters if we get shot, it stays here. Very cool car the food set though, because it has lots of customization. That's why the first car is really cool. It's the first car you can fully kit out with loads of cool and weird stuff. And it actually looks decent. No, we just crash. But I believe this is the last one for Solomon's. A little treasure hunt that's always good to do, because obviously treasure hunts are going to make you money. So it's obviously what you want to do. As much as you can, all the treasure hunts. Get them boxed off as soon as you can. Then that's 200 grand normally for the ones with the weapons, or 250 grand for some of the ones with the weapons. And then obviously the Solomon one is 10 grand per thing to find. Three of the vehicles, they'll just pop as like a blue blimp, as you saw on my mini map. It just pops up while you're driving around, and you just notice it's going towards my crate area. And then I'm just going to record a video, but I just noticed this and was like, right, okay, because in the last part of the video I stopped recording because I noticed it wasn't going to pop up again until maybe a few hours later so obviously I ended that recording and went to go and start a new one and just as I was getting closer to where I wanted to go and why am I not taking this to Solomon go to the great okay this is a bit weird but maybe it's not a Solomon's mission I thought it was though it's very weird I wonder whether we're gonna access to Solomon's office after this though. So actually, that's the only thing isn't it? Solomon's office is something you can never go in besides story mode. So now are they going to cut us complete access? Are we going to get to see him in the next DLC? Because there's been lots of rumours in the past 24 hours about GTA 6 but obviously we know we're getting GTA 5 on the next consoles so I don't see GTA 6 coming in the next 4 to 5 years unless the bring out GTA 5 and then a year later they bring out GTA 6 just to make more money. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But deliver to the Great Chapel. I believe that's what it says anyway. And as you can see now we're low on cash. Obviously we bought the nightclub for a million I think it was. I know it was 2.2 million. So obviously, obviously I need to do more crates to upgrade the nightclub to be able to buy everything that I need. Because realistically I want to buy the nightclubs that I previously, well, the nightclub that I previously had, the most expensive one, but it's going to be about five million, plus an extra three million for customization. So it's just easy to buy the first one, but then I'm going to need to buy things like the MOC, not the MOC, the MC Clubhouse, and buy all the different businesses for that, and the warehouses for them, 
so then I can unlock more stuff for the nightclub to make more money off the nightclub. So I guess it's just a pain really because you've got to have more money to buy other stuff. But we'll just make our way this again. This is why this series is the Rags to Riches because we're literally showing you can start from a low level with literally no cash. Work all your way up. you just got to grind and put the effort in or just, you know, buy shark cards. But obviously there is no need to buy them because you can literally make money really quick and easy. There isn't a way to say you can't make money can't quick. It's just a pain to make it sometimes if you don't want to grind for hours. Right. Okay. Let's see what happens now. Is this the last Solomon one? Mission pasture payish. I don't believe that is Solomon. Okay, that's very weird. So that's a new thing. These might be... I'll put a picture on the screen now. Rockstar keeps, obviously, every time you load into the game. It advertises this thing that goes on on the side of the road. Maybe that's what that is. But that means it's just another way to encash that. So I'm going to add this to the video. And that is where I'm going to end this episode, guys. Because I believe there is nothing else I can do for Solomon, really. Other than find it and it'll come up as a little blip like that. But I believe that was part of Solomon's. Unless I was wrong. But that's where we're going in this video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, press the notification button down below for instant notifications. And we'll see you guys in the next video.